How's it going everybody? Shylan here. Happy New Year! I know this is another one take video, but guess what? Uh, I uploaded a video and I played it back just recently and I noticed I made an error. I had something I needed to fix, but I didn't have time. It was already up, so whoops. Anyways, this is your video update for my channel. Anyways, Happy New Year guys. Yes, it is a brand new year, 2023. And boy, did I drop the ball last year <laughs> in terms of uploading videos. Now, I don't know if you can tell this, but I'm actually using a different camera. This last year, I had to purchase two different cameras. I'm going to explain more about that in a little bit. But yeah, this last year, in terms of me uploading videos, has been kind of a bit of a, a challenge because I was just super busy working on all sorts of stuff, including stuff at Universal. That was probably the most important thing that I needed to deal with. But also finding time to upload and really like try to edit videos was just a struggle plus my whole thing with YouTube uh, didn't go so well just saying if you guys haven't seen my previous update that I posted a few months back I basically gave the idea that I was gonna come back right that I wanted to do more for YouTube right I was trying to get back into the swing of things well <laughs> since the update some other things happened behind the scenes that uh, had to basically, I had to basically delay my return a little bit longer. So I'm hoping that this year, finally, the start of January 2023, will be the year that I come back. So what happened? Well, as you all know, next month, literally next month in February, we're opening up Super Nintendo World. So I've been doing a lot of stuff over there. Not actually in the land, but stuff. Can't really say what yet until it's officially open, but pretty exciting stuff and again, more of that stuff later on down the road. But yes, my schedule at Universal was very hectic. I've been dealing with all of the light shows for Christmas, the Magic Christmas of Hogwarts light show. And I was also dealing with Halloween Horror Nights. And something I did promise you guys that hasn't happened yet was that I promised you all that I was going to be uploading videos from Halloween Horror Nights, like certain mazes and all that. Well, <sighs> this is another one of my problems that I had. Not only was it with my scheduling with Universal, but with cameras. Because the cameras, that, the first camera I had with me that I've been using for quite a long time for a lot of my recent videos, a lot of my gardening videos, a lot of my vlogs outside of the house and all that, broke. The viewfinder broke on me so if you were to look on the screen, I could only see like maybe 25% of the viewfinder. The camera itself still works. It still records audio and video, but I couldn't see what I was recording. So I was basically set with a, was left with a dilemma. I could either have it repaired or get a brand new camera. Now, mind you, the camera every once in a while has a couple of issues. Like trying to clean the lens, for example, has always been a real pain. So I decided to do something that I thought was cool, and that was to get a brand new camera. Now this camera had some cool features. It had lights. It had a like a mic on it, like a little boom mic that I could attach to it, and it looked really cool. It cost me about 150 bucks. I'm like, cool. I'm all set. So again, I forgot to mention. I don't know if I mentioned this, but the camera broke when I was at HHN. Yeah. So. The footage was salvageable, some of it. <laughs> after it broke, I couldn't really get a lot of good footage after that. So when I got the new camera, I was like, cool. And some of the camera shots looked great until I played back the audio, which sounded like utter garbage. Now, the instructions said to plug in the microphone. And I'm like, okay, I plugged it in. But it was also to charge it as well. I'm like, you have to charge the microphone? So I charged it a little bit too. Still sounded like garbage. And even without the microphone, the camera was awful. In fact, the settings are so bad that I had to press the picture button in order for it to stay like clear. Because when I shot my first couple of videos with the camera, I didn't realize it, but I had to press down on the picture camera in order to the button I mean for like getting a picture to keep it clear in focus. Without it, it's all blurry. And I'm like going through all the different features on the camera. I don't know what's going on. I even went through the different YouTube videos about the reviews. They didn't explain to me how to fix that problem. 
the camera was absolutely garbage. It, it, it's not even, it doesn't even have an official brand name. So it was a very, very, very cheap camera. So yeah, and I'm also really upset because not only did I record more HHN videos with it, but I'm also, I also recorded my unboxing video of Galactus with that same camera. It sounds okay, but some of the quality may not be as good or up to par as I would like it to be. Still gonna upload the footage because it's still a pretty cool unboxing video, but I may have to reshoot a couple of things. Yeah, so anyways, the camera stunk. So I was left with a relatively bad camera. Basically, I'm thinking I'm only gonna use that camera if I have to use like, like if I wanted to use like tilt up or tilt down shots, that, that type of thing, like to get pictures or whatever. So, recently, in fact, uh, last week, I bought this camera. This is a Canon camera, and it is an, uh, it's basically, a, what is it called? This is a Canon EOS, EOS M20, uh, M200, I think that's what it's called, but I, yeah, M200, and this is a content creator camera. This is also the same type of camera. I'm looking, if you, in case you're wondering, I'm looking above because the viewfinder is actually sticking up right behind the camera. So I actually have one of these special cameras that a lot of vloggers use that have the viewfinder that you can flip up and they can look at each other. But the problem is that I'm looking up and I can see myself looking up at the viewfinder. So I have to remind myself I have to look here instead of up there. <laughs> so that's a little distracting. But anyways, yeah. Uh, it's still a cool camera. I, I tested it out. Sounds way better than my other, other cameras. So I'm going to stick with this one for vlogging. Now, technically I have three cameras. So if I really wanted to try using my broken camera, I would probably just use that for home. Anything else outside of that, I'm going to use my two other cameras. I'm still considering I, for a while, I want to use the GoPro again because I would love to be able to use the GoPro because I used that for quite a while for the design video series when I did a lot of the rides and all that. The problem is that after so many years of using it, uh, the lens, for some reason, just completely got blurry and it got this weird spot on it. I tried cleaning it a bunch of times and it would not go away. So, yeah, uh, the GoPro lasted for quite a few years and died. All the batteries died, unfortunately. And it was like the first GoPro or whatever. It's like the GoPro Hero Black or whatever it was. And the new GoPros look amazing, so I'm considering maybe next month getting another GoPro. We will see, but they are so expensive. This was not cheap either, so... Anyways, that's what's been going on. That's one of the main, two of the main reasons why I haven't been able to upload a whole lot of videos, because of scheduling Universal and camera issues. <laughs> so, yeah. This year, however, it's going to be a lot different. So what's going to be... The schedule now for the videos i don't have a set schedule yet once i have a certain number of videos ready to go i'll upload them i'm hoping to go back to the three day per week video schedule that i had before monday wednesday and friday we will see i have to record a number of videos first and then upload them now this isn't just for this channel this is also going to happen with the other channels as well that's right the educational series the Design Video Series and the Travel Town Series. Now, I will be making a whole update video very soon for the Design Video Series because I know I stopped uploading videos for a while there. Same reason, camera issues, scheduling with Universal, editing, blah, blah, blah. But yes, I am going to be doing an update video on that as well. And yeah, so we're talking about the vlog series. What's going to happen here? What are we going to be doing on this channel? Similar to what I've done before, but maybe a little better with better camera footage and stuff like that. In terms of Universal Studios Hollywood, yes. I will be doing more updates from Universal. I'll try to have my camera or phone ready on hand in case something does happen and I can give you up-to-date information, what's going on, all that fun stuff. In terms of, like say stuff for Super Nintendo World, can't really say a whole lot yet. But I can very soon though, next month in February. That's gonna be fun. Let's see what else. Uh, yeah, in terms of like vlogging all that, yes, I want to get back to doing more vlogs, like say the Los Angeles Zoo, California Science Center, the Griffith Park Observatory and all that. I still have yet to go back to the observatory. It's been over 10 years. By the way, did you guys know I celebrated 10 years on YouTube recently? Yeah. Pretty soon I'll be celebrating 10 years on the Disney, Disney Video Series. That's going to be insane as well. <laughs> can't believe it. It's starting to sprinkle out here. Um, but yeah, 10 years on YouTube. Man. 
that's also another reason why I kind of just stopped because I was just so burned out. I was like, I just need a break for a little bit, guys. And I think I'm ready to come back. So yeah, so yeah, more vlogs, more vlogging, definitely more stuff out here in the garden. Uh, some things have been happening that uh, needed to be changed around here, such as the berry farm, all that, and more later on in the future. I'm also, speaking of the berry farm, I am planning on bringing back the Knott's Berry Farm series. In case you guys don't remember, a couple years back, I started working on kind of like a documentary series about the Knott's Berry Farm theme park, and really just the history about the park. I want to bring that back. I only have like, what, five videos or something? I stopped when I got to like the George Washington fireplace and the down by the old mill stream. So yeah, I got to do more of those because those are fun. I actually enjoy doing that. I also want to do more demo videos like voiceover acting and all that stuff. So we'll see. I will try and get those videos out as soon as possible because I definitely want to get those out of the way because I have all this footage and I want to use it from Knott's Berry Farm. Also, the comic corner. Yes, as you all know, I just mentioned this video, Galactus is here. Did I even post a photo on it on Instagram? No, I didn't. Wow, boy, that's <laughs> that's kind of bad. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to be doing some more Comic Corner videos. Uh, a little bit more about the history of some of the characters and maybe some updates about some of the movies that are coming out. I also have this thing that I'll be doing on both this channel and on a Disneyland video series regarding the DC Universe. Yeah, Disneyland video series with DC Comics? Hmm, huh, interesting. Might want to find out what's going on on that channel. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, more updates are coming, guys. And thank you all so much for sticking with me because, you know what, it's been too long since I've really done a whole lot for YouTube. And I'm hoping that this gets you guys excited because, yeah, more content's coming your way. And I hope this camera is going to be really cool because I like, I really like the quality of this camera. And I want to keep it, like, as clean as possible. I might get a second one of these later on down the road, if they still have them. But uh, I got this at Target, and it was actually nice. It was on sale, too. So, yeah. <laughs> all right, guys. I'm going to head out. So, thank you all so much for watching, and thank you so much for being patient for me. And, by the way, another big announcement. Recently, this channel passed 2,000 subscribers, which is incredible. Let's make it 3,000. No, I'm <laughs> In the year 3,000, that's when we will reach 3,000 <laughs> subscribers. <laughs> I'll be long gone by then. All right, guys. I got to run. So thank you all so much for watching. And thank you so much for sticking with me. And to my new subscribers, thank you so much for subscribing and just sticking with me because these last few months have been really hectic. But more really cool stuff is on the way. So get ready. Because 2023 is going to be a big year for Sean Lowe Films. The whole Sean Lowe Films brand on YouTube. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. In scene. As they say in Hollywood, I'm not in Hollywood. I will be heading out there soon today, in fact. That, my friends, is a wrap. See you next time. I'm not going to cover the lens because it's a brand new lens. <laughs>